I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Don't be ridiculous. It looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It looks like it's failing, but glamours aren't supposed to do that. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Here. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Well? We're still looking. 
Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions? I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I assume it would have something to do with those rings on it? What does that mean? Oh. Is that... It's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Oh no. What is it? Holly's sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. Anyway, we should get going. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after...
Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. Is that true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? Shit. The body you found. Who was it? I'm sorry, Holly. It was Lily. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing... God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure?
don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. She was looking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. We just didn't see eye to eye on things. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. <sighs> well, you've been a tremendous help. Truly. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. That should be fine. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really. Thanks. It just made everything easier. <laughs>